So, um, Cassie's had this persistent cough, and last night nobody was getting any sleep, so we took her to the, um, animal hospital over in Northwest, and everyone thought it was a simple thing, but it turns out she had really advanced lymphoma, and when I mean that, I mean, like, basically she doesn't have any lungs anymore. So, um, we took her home, and this is pretty much her last day, because she, it's so bad she actually could have just dropped at any moment, and we never knew, because she's so happy, and so, um, my parents are still asleep, because they're the only ones that slept when we got home. I haven't slept since midnight, and that's her second helping of just wet food. I'm going to give her as much as she wants, so hang on a second. So that's her fourth helping. She's probably going to throw it all up. My dad will get pissed off. If you look on her, her side, you can see where they shaved. Um, I mean, she doesn't have very much hair right now because of her summer cut, but um, they drained 250 milliliters of fluid off her lungs just so she could breathe. She was really having a hard time breathing. Um, so, you know, that's great. I'm, like, I'm looking for stuff to feed her in the fridge because I want her to have a great day, and the problem is that it opens up. Are you all done? You going to have some water? That opens at 8.30, and we're going to try and get this over with. He wants some more. Okay, hang on. Okay, so there's five. Um, so we're trying to get this over with as soon as the vet opens. And, you know, I'm I'm kind of at this dead inside stage because Cassie is my first dog. And she's a very special dog. And, um, you know, it, you just think, well, maybe it's not actually a lymphoma. Maybe it is an infection or she just ate something. And we thought maybe it was rat poison. And, like, I know that it's not true and I'm trying to stop that, but... Anyway, so the problem is because she's just so bad and we had no clue, I can't give her much of a great last day. Like, I, if she were great, if she were in much better condition, I would have taken her out to the tree farm one last time and thrown the ball in the tennis court. And I just poured basically the whole can in, so my dad's going to kill me. But, um, you know what? She deserves it. She's the best dog on her. Um, anyway, so I would have taken her to the tennis court and chuck the ball around, but there's just no way. I mean, she's still on sedatives right now, so she's doing okay. It's so sloppy with gravy in there. She's just like, it's practically just drinking it. Um, I figure she'll stop when she wants to. Um, so she's just out of it, and you wouldn't know. Last night, when we went to the vet, she was just, other than the cough, she was just her old self. And, um, you know, it's it's not like we weren't taking care of her. Hi, beauty. Hey, Cassie, girl. What's the matter? What do you see? Let me see. Are you all full? No. You're good. I just had a breather. Um, like, we went to the vet six weeks ago, but this thing has been in there for years, and just nobody knew. And, you know, it, I guess that's better, because there was nothing we could have done, but that doesn't really help, because you always feel like, but I should have done something, or I should have known, and... I don't know. There's just, there was no way to know. So, uh, <laughs> screws up the weekend. So I've only gotten two hours of sleep. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, beautiful. What are you going to do now? you going to keep going? Okay. I'm making this so that I have a last record of my dog. And mom's like, oh, don't you want to remember her at her best? And I just want to remember her. I'm going to get a lot of pictures. And, oh, she's so pretty pretty baby. You can tell her she's just not standing right. What's the matter? You want to come here? You want to come here? No, you want to eat some more. That's fine, too. So I slept on the floor. Well, I didn't sleep, but I laid on the floor next to her all night. You know, you think you're full now? You know, it's tough. Do you want to go back to bed? You want to, you want to come here? Come here, Cassie. I know. I'm just hanging low right now. Okay, so this is our probably last video. Uh, Mom, this is Cassie. She's up now. Look. She got to play with her favorite toy, the duck. Didn't she, sweetie? And she looked bright-eyed, but she tailed. You know, she was still pretty down because, you know, the heavy sedative. But she ate, and she even had a treat. Oh, look. She knows something's up. And she knows we're upset. I'm not sure she knows how sick she is. 
Mom and I were so stupid. We just keep hoping and hoping and hoping that maybe, just maybe, it'll be something else. Yeah, hi! Hey, sweet pea. Pretty girl. Say goodbye, okay? Yeah, she's saying goodbye. So, um, gosh, I don't even know what to do now. Um, future me, I took this video so that you could always have your dog around. And I always worry that I wasn't the owner she deserved because she's the best dog ever. But I loved her as much as the best owner ever could. And her first dog pointed I look out and, you know, well, that's really all you can say. But Miss Pooch, hi, I love you so much and I always will. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So, future kids, when you watch this, mom's crying. And, um... I don't know if you can hear my mom crying. She's in the kitchen because she can't stand to be out here. Poor Papa, he only cries at the end of Anne Frank and when I went to kindergarten, but he's been crying a bit too. And <sighs> Say goodbye. Into the undiscovered country from whence no traveler returns. Or more upbeat, to paraphrase Mark Twain, Heaven is based on favor. If it were based on merit, you would stay out and your dog would get in. And no dog deserves to get in more than Cassie. So, I love you, sugar. Good night.